Welcome everyone, today we'll have a guide for the co-op event. Over here we'll have 5 tips to help you fasten your co-op speed and sometimes even double or triple your efficiency. So let's do a summary of those 5 tips and I'll show you guys some of my replays where we can demonstrate 5 of those tips. It is very important that we can realize we can collect up to 3 of the same elemental cubes at once. This is much more efficient if you collect 3 of them at once instead of just collecting one and running back and back and forth. Next up, it is very important to kill the boss and elite monsters fast. And when you do so, they actually generate event elemental overload. When that happens, they actually spawn elemental cubes of the same element as them, and they also give you a buff to increase the rewards you get from obtaining and returning those cubes to the crucible. Next up, we have the mistake or what not to do during a particular phase. You will see one of my replays, if we start to run up and climb for the cubes that's on the far skirts on the higher edges of the map, if there's a mage face, the mage will teleport next to you. This in return will ruin your entire game fight because your whole team will have to follow after you and the mage teleports and this delays the whole team fight by another 2 or 3 minutes. Our tip number 4 is very straightforward. Whenever you can, Pull the monsters together, especially the boss monsters, which allows you and your whole team to do more damage and kill them quickly, which in return gives you more element overload and more cubes. Lastly, the quick rule of thumb is that when we have no stamina, we have cooldowns, we should go and fight the boss. Use your burst spells, use your E spells. When you have lots of stamina and no cooldowns, go for the cubes. And when you have the element overload buffing a particular element, always go for the element cubes of that particular nature. What we're going to see is at the start of my cube searching, I was fetching one cube at a time. Notice there was a bunch of the same elemental cubes in front of me. What I could have done is I could have collected them and returned them at once. This would have tripled or even doubled my speed. So over here you can see the same situation. I'm getting elemental overloaded with electric and I'm actually collecting all three of the cubes. We can't collect more than three and I'm actually returning them with triple efficiency. Coming over to tip number 2, notice we're fighting the boss. As soon as we can defeat them, we can generate an element of buff, and this element overload will also respawn some of the cubes. Yeah, when you see the buff over here, we are being buffed with pile, and now there's a lot of the pile cubes. Do what we do, pick up all 3 of them, and then return to the crucible. This really helps speeding our process. Here is the mistake I was talking about. Notice I was going for a cube that's far away climbing for the cubes, and notice the mage was actually following us. What's going to happen is now all of a sudden the mage teleported behind us and the mage is kind of hiding away from my entire team. My team can't do damage and what this forces to do is my entire team have to run over here, climb and try to kill the mage over here in this very awkward corner. You can see over here eventually my entire team came and after a minute wasted we killed the boss but this could have done so much quickly if I just stayed in my place and killed the boss first. So here it is guys, 5 very simple tips and if you follow those tips and tricks you can really fasten the speed of your progress and this can really help you finish more of those co-op runs and get some really nice rewards and at the same time be happy with your achievement. This is one of my faster runs with close to 3 minutes or even under 3 minutes. So let me know how fast you guys can achieve those, I'm sure you guys can hit 2 minutes or even further, so let me know guys. Now if you found this video helpful. Make sure you subscribe and also click the bell for more videos like this to come. As always, I wish you guys best of luck in catching and also have a great time exploring this beautiful world. I'll see you guys next time. Take care everyone.